I am rusty at making these videos. I used to be able to like boop, 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 but not anymore. Anyway, I decided to make a video this morning. Why? I don't know, because I was talking to myself, first of all. So I'm like, if I'm talking to myself, I might as well record it. So what is today's date? Which is also important to remember, because you're going to work. So today is August, I believe it's the 26th. No, 26th, because today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, it's the 27th, and I'm getting my mattress. So today's the 26th, August the 26th, 2021, and I'm heading to work from my house. If I'm not sure if I put, posted one of those yet, but I bought, I purchased the house in Morrisville, PA, and I'm loving it. I feel like McDonald's commercial, and that was it. So I was talking to myself about, you know, needing my car washed, and it just spun into make a quick video because just because I purchased the house my finances did not change it is my spending habit my needing to want more <laughs> my needing to want more I love it my wanting to need more <laughs> so anyway um with that being said I didn't put myself in a deficit I just put myself on punishment and I'm just doing things out of the box. I am I am saving money. But then the money that I don't save, I'm busting it. So I I need to be on a, a financial timeout for reals for reals. And then I signed up for a vacation. Yes, yes, y'all heard me right. A vacation. I spared a moment, vacation, got a new girlfriend, and I was she was like, let's go. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh snap. And as soon as I did it, I was like, damn. I should have thought about that some more. So, I don't know. If I post this to um, YouTube, what is your thoughts about how long should you wait to make decisions? Like, I don't know. So, especially superficial decisions. That's the word. Because, like, major decisions. And, you know, I saw this. This um, I'm a Christian. So, I saw this, this uh, pastor speak one time that said, she talks to God about everything. Like, what clothes and shoes to wear and what because things might make a difference like why would you go to the store and just your raggedy daggedies when you could go to the store and something a little bit nice and happen to meet the person of your dreams or meet the, the person that will hire you so her philosophy was she talks to god about everything because the lord knows everything that's going to happen before it happens so he knows to tell her not to wear xyz i'm telling you the truth I, if i could find this thing I would try my best to remember her name. She was a black lady too. That's all I can tell you. But anyway, in other words, she conferred with God with everything. Me, I'm thinking, no. Little things, because God gave us knowledge. You ask for knowledge, patience, wisdom, understanding. He gave you all of those tools. However, you don't use them. You don't use them to, to decipher and to make decisions about your life. All right. Because what is that called? Uh, critical thinking. Take some time and do some critical thinking. You have God in your heart. You have the love of the Lord in your heart. You've asked for wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding. You know, I'm going to tell you, those are really the common things. Wisdom, knowledge, patience, and understanding. Those are common. You could, you could ask anybody, what do you pray for? Wisdom common for yourself. Uh, patience, some people say it in a different order, but it's, it's basically the same. And some people add a little bit more. But those are the, those are the, um, those are the keys. <laughs> Major keys. So then anyway, um... Yeah, man. What is this? I already... Oh, something is... So, with that being said, boom. Should I ask God? Can I go on vacation? Or should I go on vacation? Maybe I should. Because now, maybe I should have. Like, the lady, she talking about wearing pants to the... Wearing a certain pants to the grocery store. I'm talking about getting on the airplane, flying off to another whole country. So, I think that's a, probably a major. A minor is, should I have that McDonald's today? Because every time I pass by McDonald's, uh, that's superficial. I want me some McDonald's so badly. So I, I just crave it. It's something in it. And it's all it's it's already made up. That's another thing. So you don't have to try to figure out what you're gonna eat. Pick a number, get the food, let's go. So with that being said, yeah, I'm in a little bit of a rut, but I know some of that, I know reasons why some of that is occurring other than my extracurricular spending. Love it. Um yeah, so I t I'm I'm take I'm rectifying that situation right now, and then I'm on punishment. Like if it's not, I just went over my my uh, online statement. 
which is the best thing, like people, oh, I use cash, you know, don't use cash. Use on, use your debit card or your, yeah, use your account, your debit card or your credit cards or whatever you wanna use, but have some sort of statement. I didn't do, put the oil under my eyes. I hate when I do that. You oil under your eyes, your eyes keep, keep it moist. A trick to the trade, I mean, I'm not sure if every black woman is doing, but this black woman is. And um, when you use your online statement, or you make a, you you do a on, I mean, you use your debit card, you, you get a on, receive an online statement. You can see, oh, I'm at McDonald's almost every day. I'm at Starbucks every day. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts every day. So I look, I like Dunkin' Donuts, but anyway. Um, so then you can see where you're 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 effing up. That extra flower or plant that you so-called needed. No, you didn't. You did not need that. So, those are the things that I'm thinking about this morning as I go to work. I usually have my gospel music on bump. Or, I'm rushing today, though. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm ovulating. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm not trying to have no babies. But, you know, when you ovulate, you're a little bit more sexually aroused or sexually aware like God created our bodies to I'm telling you it's amazing you think about it think about it our bodies just like these animals out here us women knows when we need to to procreate so then what happens is that I believe and don't look somebody look it up I believe that we probably throw off an extra like pheromone it's like the opposite sex. You're a little love man or you're, you know, whatever. And boom, it's on and popping. Now it's time to make them babies. So, anyway, that's that. I'm ovulating. I don't have a man. <laughs> so, it just is what it is. And, and um, what my point is, I can't sleep. I'm in heat. <laughs> don't look at this. Don't look at this video. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's what is happening. So, I'm a little, I'm not late. Actually, I'm supposed to be to work at 8 o'clock. It is 7.49. I really could truly make it like 7.57 something like that. But they don't clock us like that. Um, what happens? That's it, I think. That's really it. I don't really have much more to talk about. Yeah, I'm trying to date. Online dating sucks ass. Um, the C word is here. So... You can't really go out and mingle. At least I'm not. I'm not going out and mingling because I'm not getting the V. So, yeah. Not yet, anyway. I'm, I'm working on some things. And the reason why I'm not getting the V is because I have to take care of some medical issues that I have. And until I take care of those medical issues and make sure I get an all clear. Although, I've gotten an all clear from my doctor. But then... My, my, and also my cardiologist like yeah yeah but I feel like they're saying it a little prematurely you know like I feel like everyone that has underlying conditions should really take time to seriously go through what can possibly happen and you know people say research 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 for yourself I try to research I could barely read those words those words some of the you, I had a, a, a physicist help me with some of the words, and she was even baffled on some of the things. So, to my oh, uh, something for yourself. See, the cops is out here. Good thing I'm, I'm doing my video and I'm not driving fast. Um, can't research but so much, you know. And then, how, who's to say that your research, your 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 findings, are credible sources? You know. So that's another thing because there's a lot of you know false information that you just can't figure it out so with that being said yeah man it's hard to find a man in the seaville you know like you can't i call it i call it the whole name but i'm not trying to be um censored for this video so in 2021 on planet earth if you don't know what c and v stands for you've been under a rock <laughs> So what I've been doing is online dating. Um, yes, I know eventually we will have to meet up. Some people have their statuses up there. Oh shoot, should I make it? I, yeah, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, okay. It's like these little baby lights they got right here. They, they created a circle in the middle of the highway. So anyway, let's go this way. 
almost there y'all almost to my turn over there but anyway yeah i did i'm doing that online dating sucks ass it sucks ass it sucks ass but then i have a friend and she met her how you doing she met her um her husband of eight years online i don't even so what am I doing that's what am I doing that's so wrong I try to get high road, high, my little highway romances back because that's the closest I'm going to get to people I had a, a good little cute highway romance I was trying to like pursue didn't work so just in case you're new to the scene my little highway romances is when I lock eyes with someone and they lock eyes with me. And you know, we make that highway connection. <laughs> this is not a highway really, I don't know what this is. It's a route. So whatever, somebody told me there is a difference. And that information will be with me for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be in the nursing home talking about, that's not a highway, that's a route. <laughs> so anyway. I think it should be classified as a highway if you go past a certain speed limit or something. Because these have lights on it. But we go, I think you're allowed to go 50 miles per hour. 50, yeah, 50 miles per hour to the next light. So, anyway. Never took time to research that information. Some stuff is not even worth it. So, back to my highway romance. Because I'm all over the place. And it's alright. Because this is like one of those videos. Like, whatever. It has no, no agenda and no sense of purpose. I might not even upload it. So... Yeah, my little highway romance. I lock eyes. He lock eyes. The sun is finally at my face, but it, I love the sun. And, um, which is not good for my skin. And, um, we try to make a connection. I've actually had a guy that asked me to pull over, and I'm like, whoa, that's too much a connection. I like one time, um, I had a guy, we exchanged numbers right there, real quick. And I was like, okay, we could do this. So we talked a little bit, and that was cute. I liked it, you know? Um, it's one of those wacky behind stories that you get to tell someone later on in life. Like, we met, everybody's going to meet online. Like, I don't know why we lie about it. Everybody's online. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I remember online, when I was doing online a couple of years back, I'm going to say 2010, maybe nine. It was like, eh, you online? Now, shoot, if you're not online and in the world, and they call it in real life, you're not doing both. Something is wrong with you. Now, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, because it's 2021, and before 2021, 2020 happens, uh, if you wasn't online looking for a friend, a person, just some human contact, you are crazy. I like my eyes like that. So anyway, yeah, I didn't put my oil on my, my eyes. So yeah, that's that. Can't sleep. Ovulating. Don't have a man. See, I tracked it back. Oh, snap, somebody did something illegal. I can't believe it. This person has to get to work. They must have to get to work because that right there was bananas. No. So I'm heading towards Princeton, New Jersey. And you don't see a lot of like erratic driving. You see some dumbass driving like you know, like, I can't drive, so I will do this. Like, that kind of stuff. But, like, that right there. They took, it supposed to be the turn lane to turn left. And then I'm in the lane to go straight. They're, those are the only two options. Oh, I guess you could turn right, but why do that? You know, I made a loop around. It's like a U-turn or whatever. And instead of turning left, you gotta watch this side. Because people run out, but they're doing exercise. Um... Instead of doing that, he went in front of the person in front of me. Like, you know, he couldn't wait. But now he's stuck behind, I'm going to say, six people. So, you know, your efforts are wasted. Your efforts are clearly wasted. Now, let me say this. What if, I don't know. Maybe they know each other. Maybe he got caught in traffic and he's supposed to be telling her which way to go. So she's following him. I don't know. I don't know. So she had to jump back in front, and he let her jump back in front. And I don't know if I know that they are him, her. Or... Oh! Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's chat it up. 
the pronoun thing. Now, my daughter is gay, and I am a parent ally, a mother ally, something like that. I can't remember. She told me how to say it. So my point is, my point is, what are these pronouns? Like, do I have to identify as a pronoun now? I am born in a very good decade. I'm not telling you guys my age. I probably did already in some of these videos. But my my point, okay, so this person might have an emergency, you guys. Because he's trying to find, that's like, this is not a two-lane road. This is a one lane, and then the other side goes that way. The opposite direction. And he's looked like he's trying to maybe maneuver around. Something may be going on. Well, it looked like he just had a drink of coffee. So I'm not sure. Something may be going on in here. Let's see. He got the windshield wipers on. It's a little bit something going on. I can't see around this big old truck. Anyway, let's get back to the pronouns. So on two different occasions yesterday, I was asked to give my pronouns. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell my pronoun is. What is my pronoun? I'm a woman. I had three kids. I'm heterosexual. <gasps> He's doing it again, y'all. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. So what I'm supposed to say really is they're doing it again. They're from PA. They got their wipers on. He might be talking to the person in front. Because he kind of leaned out like he leaned that way. And see, for me to be saying he, that means I'm t saying to anybody that's listening that men drive erratic. But he did it again. So he has to be somewhere. It's 7.58. Like, no, I'm not at work, but it's okay. Um, Maybe something is going on. You never know. You know, let's skip the pronoun talk for a second. I had an emergency. And my ex-husband and I had a rush to one of my, our, our kids, our youngest son had a very, oh my God. I can't talk about that. It gives me like the flutters and all of that. So anyway, we had to rush in the same way. Oh, he is just so beautiful. The little, oh, he went past the light, y'all. He went, he, he ran the red light. He ran the red light. So yeah, that's an emergency. That's not, oh, I got to get to work. That isn't a clear medical emergency. I would pray to God it is because I wouldn't want someone rushing to work breaking the law like oh my god even if you have a presentation or something to do at work that's very important you know most people oh my goodness and yet see what i'm trying to say is and i'm thinking to myself is there even a hospital this way there's not a hospital this way but that doesn't mean anything that means he could be going to someone's house because like for me and my my ex-husband we had to go to this did we go to the scene i don't know but the fact of the matter is Sometimes I'm not minding someone's business. I'm just, I'm being, yes, I am. I'm very nosy. I'm being observant. And I noticed that this car, white car with PA plates, is just, and you don't see that around here. So it's, it's really out of place. All right, so let's get back to this pronoun because that's what we're going to do because I'm about to finish this video. It's almost 20 minutes. What do I do? I don't want to be trying to go out here saying what I am and all of this other stuff do when you say nothing does that mean you're straight help I'm not a transgender I'm not a person that is transitioning I am a a woman naturally a natural woman if that's appropriate to say the problem is I am so freaked out to say something wrong I don't know what to say because I am born in the old school um whatever See? That I don't know what to say. So I don't want to offend anyone. I usually I call my daughter and ask her for the, you know, like the little synopsis. She is good at giving me like, Ma, don't say that. Okay, so this is what you're supposed to say. And this is why you're saying it. And I get education from her, which is the right thing to do. But like yesterday, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to her yesterday. I don't know why I could have. I don't know. But anyway, it was just like, whoa, what can I say? What should I say? Do I supposed to say? Can I say? And it becomes one of those. So, anywho, I'm at work. This is 20 minutes long, and this is perfect.
You guys have a great day. If I upload this video, come back to my channel. If I don't, I was just talking to myself. <laughs> Bye.